Shalom brothers and sisters. So I'm going to show you how I make my own shampoo. It's with herbs. As you can imagine, I use a banu. A banu is a herb that's made usually in Africa. And chibi, a chai bee powder. This is if you have thin hair or your hair is breaking and it's thinning it out. If you want it to thicken up, you would use chibi. I don't really, I use this, but I don't really use it because my hair is really thickening up. But I'll show you the process. So this, it looks like a little, but trust me, this goes a long way. So you only need one tablespoon to two cups of hot water. That's all. Now if you're looking for a shampoo that's going to cause lather and all of that, this is not for you because this will not lather. Okay, and the chibu, uh, the chibi uh, powder, I'm just going to add a tiny bit again. I, I don't need my hair to be any thicker than what it already is, but it's here. Let's go ahead. So I'm going to use, instead of a tablespoon that it calls for, I'm only going to use half a teaspoon because again I don't need it and then I add in peppermint oil and why do I on the finished process so let me add my hot water to this and you need two cups of hot water 16 ounces so we're gonna fill this all the way with the two cups and we're just gonna let this stand and rest for about 10 oops I went over 10 maybe 15 minutes okay once this cools down and rest then I'll come back and restrain it and I can show you my shampoo okay so as always I give everything a good stir to mix it all in and I'm just gonna let this sit and do what it do and we'll be back okay family my 10 minutes is up I'm going to give it a good stir and mix one last time. And then we're going to filter it into, I put a rubber band around another bowl with my cheesecloth because you want to strain and get all of the uh, natural, the, the, uh, your natural materials out such as your leaves and stuff. You just want the liquid, okay? And into the bottle that I'm putting it in. I have already put a funnel. I used a metal one this time because it is going into my hair. <clears throat> into my hair, and so we don't want to introduce um, plastic. Even it's, still, it's a plastic container, but we don't necessarily want to keep introducing other things into it. This, this water is yet still warm, so we're gonna be cautious, okay? Because I've gotten one burn today. So we're just gonna strain this in to the metal bowl and what's left on top the leaves and everything then I'm gonna, I'm gonna massage and squeeze it into the bottom of my bowl but I'm gonna let this go ahead and, and go in and I'm gonna take my time with this you don't want to rush because let me show you the liquid has thickened you can tell this is not just plain water you can see how thick that is it's almost like a, a olive oil con olive oil consistency so you don't want to rush while straining this through okay you can see that it's even sitting on, on top of my uh, cheesecloth here and it's this bowl is not full not hardly because I haven't put nearly as much that needs to go in there in here it is just that thick okay so you're gonna take your time with this because the benefits of this, you want every bit of those uh, natural benefits. Again, if you were looking for a shampoo that's going to lather and foam up, this is not the shampoo. Uh, this works wonder on natural hair. Of course, I don't have, my hair is not completely natural. I do have some perm still left on my hair, okay? So, and I still use it. So, if you have natural hair, if you have locks, this would be a perfect answer for you and your hair is thick and you are thinning and you want it to become thicker this not only promotes hair growth but it also promotes healthy thick hair especially with the cheap uh, chibay or uh, chai bay 
uh, powder. If you add that, it would definitely thicken your hair. So we're going to just continue to work this through into our bowl. And then I'm going to sift it one more time into my bottle. And you would have just created your own natural uh, hair shampoo. Okay? And you can use this every day. You can use this three times a week. You can use this once a month. When, however you normally shampoo your hair. Uh, yeah, you can use this product as frequent as you like. Okay? And so with that being said, I'm just going to continue to slowly work mine down in through the cheesecloth and catching as much of the leaves as possible. And so I'll be back once I've gotten all of this strained in because it's going to take me a minute. So I'll be back once I've gotten all of this strained through. Okay, I'll come back just to show you I have poured it all in. All of my mixture has been completely poured in, okay? And so all I'm doing is, as before, is just working it through and getting all of my liquids combined or saturated in, in, into my uh, bowl underneath. So once I've done that, here is going to be my tricky, the trickiest part for me, is taking this rubber band off my cheesecloth without wasting <laughs> my... Um, and it always is without wasting my um, shampoo or my my solution in the bottom. So you may have to leave your rubber band into your mixture, uh, or you can try and roll it down. The, oh, it came off easier than I thought. Good. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it in there. Oops. Yeah, that's what I didn't want to happen. I caught it. Okay. So you're just gonna squeeze this out. Oh my God, I made a mess. Okay, it's okay. You, you see how thick this is? It's now it has like a aloe vera kind of consistency. And this is the part that you want. You want that okra sliminess, this, this kind of stuff, okay? You want that. That's what you're looking for. That's the part that you absolutely want. You want that into your shampoo. Now, I'm going to have to straighten it again because I did get a few leaves in the bottom of mine. And I knew that. I always do, so it's not, you know, this isn't foreign for me. I always make that issue, have that issue, but anyway. So just continue to squeeze through your leaves and extract as much of that sliminess out. Again, that's the best part of this. That's what you are actually looking to get, okay? So you just squeeze it all in, and of course you're doing this with clean hands. You can see, let me show you my hands. I want you to see just how slimy it, it is. But trust me, um, it's a little gross initially looking at this, but the benefits of this is amazing. Look at that. Look how nice and thick and, yeah. This is this is the consistency you're actually hoping or looking to, to get. So I'm gonna just scrape this in because I, I want all of this into my hair because I want all of the benefit. I don't want to miss any of this. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go wash my hands right quick. I'm going to stir this and go wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay. So I've washed my hands. Now I'm just going to come back and I'm going to stir my shampoo together to combine to get it good and combined okay and then we're just going to pour it into our bottle but this is it this is your all natural shampoo this is what you want to grow your hair to maintain your length and i've wasted some okay hold on let me clean up my mess before i go on okay so only different thing the only thing different i add to my shampoo that a lot of people if you search this out do, does not or do not add is I add peppermint oil to mine and I'll tell you why as I attempt to hold on let me get a better one because I don't want to spill it. Um, 
So, I'm going to do a couple of things here. So, I have a funnel inside of a funnel. If that don't make it, that's not the craziest thing. And then a sift, okay? And so, I'm going to, can you see what I'm doing? There we go. Is that better? Can you guys see that? Okay. I'm going to just pour it in and allow this to completely sift down. Okay, my video stopped, so forgive me. So I, I ran out of room over here into my bottle, so I'm just going to keep straining this down into here. But the reason I add peppermint is peppermint is minty. And so by it being minty, what that's going to do for your hair is it's going to, if you put it on your scalp, it draws in, um, it, it, it creates blood flow to your scalp. Anything that's minty that causes a tingle is going to promote um, blood flow to your scalp. Blood flow to your scalp will also promote growth. So I have more than what my bottle can handle. So this will get used first and then this. But what I'm going to do is because I didn't, I couldn't mix it all together. I'm going to go ahead and add in my peppermint oil and I'm going to add 30 drops to the bottle and maybe 10 to the uh, this container so and you know what that's gonna take way too long so I'm gonna get my actual dropper and we're gonna go ahead and just drop in our drops so again remember I said I checked it before and each drop of full feel a full well there's not that much in here let's go ahead and just pour it in let me grab another one. Give me one second, family. Okay, I have some more <laughs> peppermint. This one ran out. So, we're going to continue with adding in our peppermint. Okay, and then... Alright, that's good. Now that that's over and done with, what I'm going to do now is put my lid on back over here on my shampoo and shake percussion 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 you know me with my percussion and I'm gonna get a skewer and I'm gonna give this a quick shake uh, stir and then we're gonna go up and I'm gonna show you how it does on the hair this is a lot thicker most of my goodness I think is over here let me see if I can get some of that over in that other one oh, it smells so good it's not just it doesn't smell good just from the peppermint but from your actual herb it just it has a, uh, a beautiful fragrance all by itself so let's try and put some of this over in here get as much as I can in here But okay, let's go up to the bathroom and I can show you how it does on the hair. One second. Okay, family, so this is my hair. Here is our shampoo. And so I'm just going to pour some into my hair like so. And I spilled it as always. You know me, I make a big mess with everything. So I'm going to just do this like that and pull it throughout the ends of my hair, just like that. And just keep going, working it into my scalp. You will start to feel that cool tingling sensation from your peppermint. Again, if this, if you were looking for a shampoo or a conditioner is what I call it. I don't call it a shampoo, it's a conditioner but it, is, it does cleanse your hair. If you were looking for that kind that would foam up and do all of that, this is not it. Oh, I'm making a big, big mess. Okay, but anyway, you get the idea. So you just keep doing this, working it through your hair, like so, all the way through it, and, and you are here. Can you hear that? It has gotten into my hair, into my scalp, like it should. And like I say, the peppermint, the cooling of it, 
Okay, there we go. The cooling of it is, I mean, it, it draws blood to your scalp, which causes hair, promotes hair growth. It's just an overall good product. And look how it's curling my natural. Even though I have some perm left on my hair, you can see what it does for your natural hair for your natural hair. You see the curls on the end? Yeah. So, give it a try and let me know what you think. You can buy all of your herbs off of Amazon. That's where I get mine. And once you buy this herb and you use it, let me know what you think about it. And like I say, I use this when I shampoo my hair. And, I mean, it just, it promotes very good, healthy hair. Uh, look at it very good healthy hair the fragrance of the peppermint the tingling against your scalp that's creating a good blood flow to your scalp it helps control dandruff the benefits of this go on and on and then i'll just wrap it around like this and allow it to sit for about 30 minutes or so and then i'll wash it out shalom family